Hello? Hello? There isn't anybody here, as usual. So I'm just gonna jump right into the game. Whoa, game audio is real loud. Let's stop that. I don't know, when people start showing up, then I'll go into the spiel. But for now, let's just play a silly little Easter game. Let me turn down that music. Let's... I mean, I'm sure I know how to play. It's just a match three. Oh, I need to get the eggs. Okay, well, that's good. I can just... One more. This is cute. It's just cute and simple. This music's kind of boring, though. There we go. I did a thing. Well done. Oh, that's my Pokemon Go Plus. I'm still trying to get a shiny shuckle. Set as desktop wallpaper. No, I'm sorry. I don't think so. Oh, there's a hundred levels I have to get through. I don't know, guys. You think I can do it? Oh, that's pretty rad, actually. I like that. At least there isn't, like, a move limit. I really hate move limits. Yes, I know I have just a few more matches to go. It's a match three game. Brown. Okay, I need 50 Easter eggs. What happens when I fill the rainbow? I guess I'll find out, won't I? Hmm. Blom, blom. I like the music in this. It's very sweet and bouncy and fun. Bonuses are extra powerful when the rainbow is full. Okay, that's cool. I need two more eggy wags. How's that? There we go. Oh man. I took like this two hour nap this afternoon, so I should totally be way more awake than I actually am. Maybe I'm just thirsty. Oh, what's this mean? 
Oh, it means that. That's annoying. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, that's not going too bad. Just a bit more. Whoa, that was sick shit. I mean, obviously I'm going through like the early easy levels right now. This was worth the $6 I spent on it, I think. I've gotten $6 worth of enjoyment out of it. Play. Oh, there's a lot of frogs here. Oh, that was no good. I didn't do I was not here for that. That wasn't nice. Hmm. Okay. Puppy cakes. Bonus is boosted. Oh, okay, good. Wow! That was rad. I am easily amused. Who would have thunk? Me, easily amused. There we go. I got to them all. I'm feeling this. This is like a nice little party, party stream kind of game. I'm feeling. Let's see. What's our next level? Is it more ice? Oh boy. Oh, it's ice, and we gotta get eggy wags. Oh ho. Oh no, that wasn't right. There's some eggy wags. Like back that Kickstarter. Yay. Finding the eggs is probably the hard part here, for me at least. And how softly everything falls. It's just like, blip, 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 blip. Yay, now finish the other one. As if I wasn't going to, excuse you very much. I mean, this is just like the easiest, calmest kind of thing. So that's not bad. Hey, what's that? I will have you know that I tried very hard to find a match three for the holiday and could not because this is just a very bizarre holiday to find games for. But you know how I love shitty holiday match three games. They're terrible and they're great at the same time. But alas, we got a match three out of it. How are you doing this fine, fine evening? Ooh, stop bugging. You scary man. Match these items and collect golden eggs. Okay, if you insist. I gotta get cupcakes and golden eggs. Oh dear. Still at work? Oof. How much longer? Whoops, that wasn't what I wanted to make. Oof, come on. It's supposed to be called at 7.30, but the person was supposed to close called out. That's BS! That's absolute BS. It is the day before a holiday that several people celebrate. Don't be a dill hole like that. 
That is such a dick move. And of course it was, I'm sure it was like a last minute calling out from work too, wasn't it? Oh my god, I still need 45 more freaking cupcakes. Tomorrow off. That's okay, well that's, that's better. Holiday pay is definitely worth it. Walked into work, my manager looked at me and asked if I wanted to close. Oh god. Was this watches or was this a uh, restaurant? Cakes. I could have been a total bitch to say no that my manager would have worked a full oh oh god, yeah, no, that's that's rough. Cause like I know even like for me, if I pull a full day where I'm like if I show up at 6 30 and then I end up sticking around until like four. Watch, is restaurants done? Okay. Ooh, that was zesty! Oh, it's because it was fully boosted, that's why. The sunshine melts the ice! Zesty. Where the fuck did I pull Zesty from? I mean, I'm here for Zesty. Like, I love Zesty. zestiness of this level. Yeah. I feel like these little the objects we are matching are appropriately springy. You know, you got you got the eggy wags, you got flowers and chickens and carrots and Something else? Am I missing something? I don't think I'm really missing anything. There we go. Do you think I can get through all 100 levels of this while streaming tonight? I think I probably can if it continues to go as smoothly as this. Oh man! Look at them animals! Make a match with a frozen item to release it. Oh! Or I could do that. There we go. That's some good stuff. Yay! This one doesn't look too terrible. Oh ho! Oh ho! There we go! Oh wait, hang on. That's better. I just gotta... Warm that sun! What am I missing? Oh, I still need to get 71 of the dang flowers! Oh! I wasn't paying attention, like, at all. I thought it was just popping the weird dudes. Popping the weird dudes. Coming soon from Elise Explosion. Yeah! 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 Oh, the bonuses, they are boosted! Ho ho ho, wee wee, baguette. 
Speaking of that, we went to the French bakery in Red Bank the other day. Uh, just because we were in town. God, I love- I got Michael his first, um, macaron. He'd never had them before, and that was really good. Oh man, I've got so many, like- Whoa! That was fucking cool! It's, like, shocking how excited I get over just, like, dumb little match three stuff. It's just so fun and cheery. Oh, goodness gravy. That wasn't what I was expecting. The flowers. Oh, we did the thing. Yay. Well done. Oh, these illustrations aren't great, but they are cute as heck. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, that's a little better. So, the bubbles will break the ice. Macaroons are delicious. Macaroons are disgusting. I've, I, I like both, but I can completely get why people would not like macaroons. They are very, uh, very much an acquired taste. Oh, there we go. There's some more of them. Yay! That was cool. Ooh, a hammer. I basically, I want to get another, ah, the bonuses are boosted so I can do this and cheer up a whole bunch more of these ding-dongs. Oh wow, that's a lot that I need to do still. Thankfully I was, the one nice thing about this game is that I was able to have like either an optional, um, it was an optional timed mode. So I didn't really have to worry about like time restraints, which I hate. I really, really hate uh, timed levels because I never can do them properly. Boo. There we go. Okay, so now all of the ice, or all of the things are popped. I just gotta deliver the dang golden eggy wags. There's two. Hmm. All right, ice is down. Let's see. I also like that I can kind of like shift the bonuses around. Like I, I don't necessarily need to use them as soon as I get them. You can only really do so much with a, with a match three. Um, and that's fine. I understand that it's very, you know, they're, you can't really screw the formula around that much. But I just like to see what there is. And this one's a really particularly cute one. Okay, so you can't m switch match the uh, the bonuses like you can in uh, Candy Crush. Not like I particularly play Candy Crush anymore, but that's okay. Oh, one down. Oh, there we go. There's the next one. Bam, got it. Level 11, complete. <laughs> All right. This, this is 
fun. It's a nice way to pass the time. Oh god, there's so much here. Gotta collect. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh ho, okay, that's oh this is fun. Okay, we got some stuff. Alright, that's good. Hmm. Sweet deal. That was an easy level. Oh look, it's shaped like a heart. Oh, I still need to get 46 freaking of those guys. Okay. Forty-six nests. Let's collect them. Ooh. I keep reading it as bonuses boasted, and that's very definitely not what they're saying there, like at all. I do I do really like the um um uh, the cascade effects they have going on. That's always, like, if I can get a game with a good cascade, I'm, like, super on board with that. Alright, level 13. Oh, what is this? Hmm. Oh, okay, so it goes in like each level. Very interesting. <laughs> Bonus is boasted. Hmm. Oh, that was a bonus. Fudge. That's okay. Where else I got eggy? Oh, there I got an eggy wag. Okay. I can see how if this is timed, it would be a lot more of a challenge, but I don't care. <laughs> I am a very easy. Woo! Two more. Where are they at? Okay, one more. Oh. Woo, there we go. Okay. Oh man, I am itchy. Level 14. Ooh, what do we got going on here? Oh shoot, I should have read. But alas, I did not. Oh, okay, that was cool, because I had the bonus. Oh, okay. Alright, so I got 88 daffodils that I need to do. And... Clear all of... The ice. Cause it's spring, we need it to melt. Whoops. Hmm. There we go, okay, so those are all done. Now I just need to get Oh wow, it only would let me clear start clearing them once I had the one done already. Oh geez, okay, that's annoying. Not like in a bad way annoying, like I could like a tolerable annoying. Tolerable annoying. Look, it's me. Pop, 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 pop. 
the little noises are just very fun and pleasant. Twenty-two more to go. So I'm actually super excited to go to the store during the week and check out all of the leftover Easter candy. Just see what they got, see what it's all about. I didn't really get to do much of a look this year. Level 15. Oh, we got some clovers. What do those do? I need a hundred carrot. Oh, clovers do X's. Interesting. I gotta do hundred carrots? I can do a hundred carrots. Bonus is boasted! Haircut on one- Ooh! Do you have any particular styles in mind? I am excited too! And then even my own hair. <laughs> Pomp. Pomp. Whoa! That was freaking cool. Hmm. Whoa! That was a good one. We did it! I forgot I had that candle going. It's like a tropical punch candle because I don't really have... I, so I used to have a marshmallow peep scented Easter candle that I got from... Um, uh, what the fuck? Marshmallow peeps were... That was a Yankee candle. But I haven't been to Yankee candle in forever and I burned that one all the way through. So... I no longer have that candle. That's what I wanted. I wanted one of those guys. Yeah. Ooh. But yes, no more Peeps Candle, so now it's like Tropical Punch from Walmart because I can't afford Yankee Candles anymore. <laughs> they're so expensive. I can only get them when they're doing that like super clearance. Ooh, okay, that was good. I chopped something through. There's one. Yay! Ooh, that was neat. 
I'm still very much in love with the phrase bonus is boasted. I think that's just so silly and dumb and I'm very happy. There is an outlet. Ooh. God, I never, I like never go to the outlets. Unless I know you're going to be there. And even at that, it's like, fuck. So tomorrow we are going to the melting pot for a holiday brunch. Ooh, you know, I will have to like come by after work one day and see like what y'all got going on. Come on. There we go, get that guy. Then this dude. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. I'm getting somewhere. Never been to the melting pot. You know, we went when we went to the one in um or there used to be one in Somerville that we went to for Valentine's Day a few years ago. And it was fine. Um, but not like super good and then they reopened the one in as in um red bank and we went for my birthday last year and it was pretty good so i signed up for their like bonus club emails or whatever and they sent me um they're doing like a four course easter brunch for like 30 bucks which that's a steal because it's usually super expensive and not worth it unless it's like a super special occasion but I can swing like special 30 bucks uh, for special brunch. And then I guess we're going to Michael's parents afterwards, which that's always fun. I just have to remember to take allergy meds because his sister has a cat who begrudgingly likes me and I can't touch the cat unless I've had like claret in my system. There we go. That's good. That's good. I'm going to slowly chip away this side one at a time. Right? That is a super steal. And it's like, they're, it's a, like a, a cheese course, like a cheese fondue course, then a salad, then an entree fondue course and a dessert fondue course. And obviously like they're, they're restricted, um, or it's like limited selection, but the, the dessert, one of them was white chocolate french toast and i have never felt more seen in my life um because that just sounds freaking delicious okay that was not great but okay There we go. I would say even the, the repeating music isn't super annoying. I was wondering if I should like play my own stuff. That's true, I do know that. But the, um, oh, hang on, let me pull it up with the menu. Cause I have it in my email. Um, do, 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 do. Four course Easter fondue brunch. Okay, so the dessert courses, there's either, um, okay, so here, yeah, you're set. So there's caramel apple, which is uh, white chocolate swirled with rum smoked Granny Smith apples, caramel, and coarse sea salt. Then there's dark and dulce, a classic flavor combination featuring dark chocolate and dulce de leche accented with coarse ground sea salt. And then French toast white chocolate, which is white chocolate blended with maple syrup, caramelized sugar, and cinnamon. Um, which, like, if you like dark chocolate, that sounds amazing. Yeah, okay, one side down. Yes, good, 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 good. We're getting there. Okay, now they're all chipped. <laughs> Feel called up, but yeah, I'm like mm, dark chocolate sea salt. I know you. <laughs> I know what you're about. 
but that one sounds so good. Like they all sound really good. Whoop, my Pokeball's going off. Let me see. And then, okay, so the other courses, um, so the cheese fondue, there is uh, please choose one cheese fondue. Each cheese fondue comes with artisan breads and seasonal vegetables for dipping. So we've got Alpine Benedict, Gruyere Raclette and Fontina with white wine, Canadian bacon, egg, and hollandaise sauce. Um, bacon, egg, and cheddar, which is cheddar cheese, hard-boiled eggs, bacon, black pepper, and your choice of Frank's Red Hot Sauce or ketchup. Or smoked salmon, Gruyere Raclette and Fontina cheeses, smoked salmon, white wine, chopped garlic, capers, and scallions. I think we're leaning more towards the Alpine Benedict, but I wouldn't be opposed to, like, any of them, really. So, there, okay, the salad course... It's like apple, bacon, spinach, um, spinach, comedian, mushrooms, sweet and spicy pecans, hard boiled egg, green apples, and apple bacon vinaigrette. The California salad, BB salad, greens, Roma tomatoes, candy pecans, and gorgonzola with raspberry walnut vinaigrette. And then a bacon topped house salad, romaine iceberg mix, cheddar, egg, tomatoes, and bacon with a sweet and tangy or peppercorn ranch dressing. And then the entrees are uh, featured entrees, either shrimp, teriyaki, marinated sirloin, or Cajun chicken to be prepared in one of four excuse me, four separate cooking styles. We need a bourguignon, cast iron grill, cocovan, or seasoned court bouillon. And really, really, you can't make a bad choice with those. Like, they're all, they're all freaking good. Oh, come on. I only have a couple more to do here. Hmm. Oh, I should have waited until I had the boost bonus. Real, like, really, they all sound, like, perfectly good and tasty, so I can't complain. I'm not sure what we're gonna go with, but we'll figure it out. Bwam. But yeah, so for $34.95 a person, that's, like, a steal for freaking Melting Pot. Melting Pot's usually, like, a very, like, 150 buck meal for two people. Easy. Oh, we got a new background. What am I doing here? Snow might make a match over snow to melt it. Oh, so snow goes on top of the ice. Oh, ho, okay, I see. I see what is annoying about that. Okay, so it's like a two level. You must clear out the snow for- okay, so the bubbles pop the snow, but they don't- or the bubbles clear the snow, but they don't melt the ice. Oh, I see. Yeah. Buns! Oof. Well, that wasn't what I wanted to do, but that worked, so. Yeah, bonus my boast. That's definitely not how that works, but okay. Only 11 more tiles to go. go. Almost all the ones up here are done. Bam. Okay. I just gotta focus on these two. Somehow. Well, that's not the direction I wanted it to go, but alright. Hmm. Okay, so we got one down. Aha, there we go. Two! We good! We good and we gravy. Oh, that's so cute. Like the little lammy is just like, hey bun! What's up, bun? Ooh, these are getting tricksier. Oh, 
ho. These poor frogs, just like, in the snow. Oh god, there's golden eggs that I need to get rid of somehow, too? How do you expect me to match those? Oh. I just need to, like, pop something near it. Or use a... There's another one down. Yay! Okay, one down, one down. Aha! Okay, one last one to free up. There we go. I'm free! Check that out. Almost all the eggs, they gone. How come there are so many eggs here? Like, that's really strange. Oh, that's also- Ooh, okay. Getting there. Yeah, okay. There we go, there we go. Really? I thought that would have cleared it. Oh well. I'll do one, then we can do the other. There we go, and I just gotta get this cupcake and then... Okay, we gotta get one more gold egg out the bottom. Hmm. I wish I had one of those hammers still. That would be helpful. Aha! There we go! Oh, while it's cascading, I can still, like... As long as I can still make matches, I can still, like... Rack up my score. That's cool! Yay! What's next? Oh, you gonna be this kind of a person today? Alright. We've got bows, we've got Easter eggs, we've got daffodils, we've got snow. Alright, we just gotta clear two more of those. That's doable. I think we could do that. Somehow we can do this. That is not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Aha, that is what I want to do. That's better. There we go, okay. Clean house, we're getting things done. That's how we roll in the Shire.
Although I do wish that those detonations would, like, clear out some of the ice. This is so close! Okay, bonus is boosted. Bonus is boosted. Hmm. No. Absolutely not what I was trying to get done. There! Did the thing! Oh, I still need to get 25, 29 freaking bows. Clearly I was paying attention. Oh ho. They're just so fun and springy. Yeah! Getting there. Eight more. No more! Okay, level 20! What are those? Pick up a star and use it to remove items in hard to reach places. Okay. Cool. Not right now, though. I don't think I really need to. Oh. Aha! I see. That's what they wanted me to do. So I can... Aha! I like this one because it's got all the eggy wags in it. And eggy wags are so cute. That's the one thing. I would like to have done like an Easter egg hunt or something, but I'm in my 30s and I don't have children, so therefore, that's not happening. Ooh, okay. Ooh, that was a good little cascade. getting there. I just need one more of those star things to clear out. And then I can get rid of that guy and then I will have all my gold. There we go. Bam! Done! And Well, no, now I still gotta get jelly bean baskets. I would like a jelly bean basket, I think. It's like, okay, I am definitely that weird person who likes black jelly beans, because I think they're super tasty. But I like licorice, so. Yeah. Okay, we're getting some 40 more to go. It's fun because it doesn't feel like a chore yet. It just it's just fun. It's just Easter eggs and jelly beans and lambs and mostly Easter eggs. 
It would be funny if this game had like an actual Easter egg in it as opposed to like a like a secret one as opposed to Oh, there we go. Next level. Ooh, sorry, lamp. <sighs> Yawns. Oh, I also, one of the cool things I haven't is I bought myself another lighting kit so I can actually film stuff at my apartment instead of... Oh, it's a little bird! That's cute! Um, instead of having to, like, rely on going back to my parents' house. See, I like black licorice. I know most of people don't, though, so I'm used to it. I gotta get 89 little chickens? Oh jeez, that's a, okay, that's gonna be rough. Woo! There, use that. Now I gotta get 70 little chickens. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Little chickens, I will save you! Woof. Woof. Will I save you or will I just destroy you with thunder, I guess? Yes, cascade, cascade. appreciate how the um the four leaf clover shoots off fire like that's pretty fucking metal um only four more little chickens to go oh should have had at least four ounces of water to maintain optimal hydration. <laughs> Thank you, hydration bot. You're the best. Like, I guess I can see why people get annoyed by hydration bot, but it's like it's like one message every couple seconds or couple minutes or every hour. Like, really not a problem for hydration bot. I don't mind you there. Level 22! Ooh, okay, looks like we've got snow, but we gotta do the ice. There's like 150. Oh, it's a little lamb! You see that? That's cute! Aww. Oh, breaking those ones on the legs is going to be hard. <laughs> oh, okay, that broke the ice. That's good. Or it broke the snow. Or no, I guess it broke the ice to shatter the snow or something like that. I don't know. Either way, it worked. There, get rid of that one, because that's going to be annoying to fix. I don't remember this level in Hoonie Bell. Hey, Rom! Hope you are having a fantastic evening. My bonuses are boasted again. Very nice, very nice. Welcome to the stream. We're playing Spring Bonus. Which is a cheapy fun little match three game that I've been playing. There we go, that's good. Ooh, ooh, we're going fast. Oh, well we did it! I have now that I'm off work. Oh gosh. Well, I hope you can get in a nice, relaxing evening. And I hope to spend some of that time 
with you guys here. I'm gonna make an actual attempt to get through this entire game tonight. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, but I will try. Oh, there's golden eggs and ice in this one. This is gonna suck. somewhere. Okay, that's better than nothing. Hmm. Aha. There we go. That's one. Yeah, okay. We're getting somewhere. We are getting to the somewhere. I see, yep, hammer. Okay, so hammer will break through um, the ice like this one covering here. The magnifying glass will melt the ice. Um, the sun will also melt the ice. Uh, but sun does it like in a, a bubble kind of area. Um... Okay, my bonuses have been boosted, so I don't want to waste that right now. That's not gonna- well, maybe I will. Yeah, okay, so that's actually very helpful. Because that- those will affect these guys, which I appreciate. Alright, good. Now I just gotta worry about breaking the ice and getting these ding-dongs all the way down to the bottom. Music is catchy like the plague! It's an extra level of strategy to it. Ah, somewhat! It is, it is definitely not just the basic match three, which I appreciate because like, you know, I play a lot of Bejeweled. Uh, I used to play a lot of Candy Crush, but I don't anymore because I'm, uh, I can't afford to. But this is, there's definitely a little bit more to it than just your basic match three, which is nice. Um, because they put that little bit of extra effort into it when they really didn't have to. Because most people don't. It's really, it's relatively simple to just crank out a basic boring match three game. They're all over the place, you know, you see them all over like the app store and shit like that or... Google Play Store. And that's fine. Like, there's definitely a time and a place for shitty match three games. But this is a nice little change of pace. The world of asset flips. Yeah, exactly. Let's take care of that guy. Ooh, okay, that was good. Yeah, okay, so the top part is all cleared out now. Now, now I must just clean down here. If I can. Okay. Now we're cooking with, oh wait, I can't do that. It's not that kind of a thing. It's not a, mo a matchable object. It's just a falling object. It's like the spring setting, especially because we're getting better weather here. Just don't care for... Yeah, I relate to that. Uh, though I will say that my spring allergies are only a relatively recent development. Like, I didn't always have them. Uh, and now it's just like, oh, this is misery. So I can, I can agree with that, especially, I will say I have, we have not had the kind of spring where my car turns green because of all the pollen yet. I anticipate that. I'm just bracing for impact. So 
study for personal experience in 34 years, but it doesn't make it any easier. Yeah, I can imagine. I... Oh, I just gotta clear the stupid eggy wags. There! Egg's gone! Bang! Well done. I don't know why I'm inclined to say that in the Professor Oak. Um, you were close. What game is that where you take the Pokemon Snap? But here we are, and I'm doing a Pokemon Snap impression. Oh god, what do I got? Okay, so I gotta get 140 of the green eggs and all 115 of the ices. Okay, I can do that. Oof. This is gonna be annoying. Ah, fudge. Ah, fudge? Who the fuck am I? I need Snap on the Switch! I want that so badly, or like a, a Pokemon Snap 2 or something like that. Like, seriously give me that game, I will play the crap out of it. I did finally claim my uh, Switch Online from Twitch Prime, which, that's not too bad. I've played, um, I did a little bit of Tetris 90, no, I didn't do any Tetris 99. I did some of the, um, uh, the, the NES Classics line, and that was pretty cool. Like, I'm, I'm pleased at that, but I really, the one thing, if I could ask Nintendo for, like, literally anything, I want them to release... GameCube games for virtual console. Like, that is the only thing that I can't really get right now, and it's cheesing me because, like, some of, most of my favorite games are GameCube, and I can't freaking play them legally. <laughs> Unless I track down a copy of the game somewhere and then play it through my Wii. Because I don't actually own a GameCube. My attention to the NES stuff online the lag makes it literally unplayable. Ah. Uh, yeah, I would figure most of the stuff I would be doing would be uh, single player. I don't really do a lot of online multiplayer. I would. The one thing I really would like, though, aside from GameCube games online, um, I would love there to be a genuine Mario Party level. Like, a uh, um, uh, Mario Party, uh, the new, because the new Mario Party is super fun. I really enjoy it. But I don't want it to just be, like, a mini game competition. I want to have, like, the actual, the only reason people play fucking Mario Party is for the board game aspect and because they hate their friends or whatever. Um, I don't hate my friends. I just love Mario Party. Uh... So that, I think, would be a really, really positive addition but I can't see them doing that just yet. And I would really like them to because that would be like, I would pay for Switch Online just for that. Legitimately, I would do that. Oh, hang on, first I'll do that. Love you see Exactly! Ugh. And I know, I'm pretty sure you don't stream emulated games, right? You only stream stuff you have, like, legal copies of? And I feel that. Oh, Rob, did I send you, or did you get a chance to read that article that was floating around about the people who started a, um, a Def Jam, uh, competitive circuit? Yeah. It was really interesting. I'll have to see if I can find that. Because I really enjoyed it because I didn't really know about that game. Tika! Hello, Tika! Oh my goodness, I haven't seen you in like six ever. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. I know, like, everybody's been super busy with work and stuff. I mean, myself included, for sure. Um, 
But yeah, that, that was really neat how they like went back and, and created like a, a tier ranking for all of the characters and figured out who was broken and, and who was available in competitive play and all that stuff. I liked it. I, I appreciated the work and the care that went into all the stuff for a game that old. Yeah, I feel that. Oh, only 14 more eggies. Yes. Sunday morning. Nice. Nice. Oof, I'm about to sneeze. Achoo! There we go. I was telling uh, Lisette when she was here before. I think she's probably just leaving work now. Um, but my fiance and I made reservations for a uh, a fondue brunch tomorrow morning. I'm super excited and thank you. Uh, woo! Yes, we moved on to, okay, level 25. Unless you have family stuff at Easter. Of course, thank you so much, Rom. Have a great and wonderful rest of your night. It was so good to see you. Take care, have fun, much love. Um, But yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited for this fondue brunch, yeah. Like the, oh, what is this? What is this mystery box? Click the mystery box. Anything could be inside. Oh my goodness! Yes, you're right. Anything could be inside. That was intense. Oh boy. I want a hammer. Ah. Huh. Ah. Uh. Okay, dang it, I need a hammer to break through those. That's annoying. Man, it has been a very long time. But anyway, so like I was reading through the menu for the fondue brunch and stuff like that, and I'm getting super excited. Especially because like, okay, I had a late dinner and I did not have, or I had a late lunch, so I didn't eat any dinner yet. Um, I need a hammer. There's a hammer. Ooh, that was cool. It honestly is. It was like six bucks on Steam. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll get this. It's a six dollar game. It can't be that because I wanted to do something springy, something fun. Uh, something that wasn't necessarily like OMG Super Easter, but like, you know, chickens and bunnies and nests and frogs. That's like, that's pretty springtime. That's pretty generic and fun. I can handle that. And it's like adorable. Ah, oh, yes, good. There we go. There, now we're cooking with gas. I have to collect 54 more bunnies! Oh goodness. Woo! Oh, okay, let's see. Get them buns! That's, that's a little indecent, but I don't care. That's fine. <laughs> One of the things that I just, I love about the Saturday streams, and I haven't had a chance to do a good Saturday stream in forever. I think, cause we had, there was like nearly an entire month in a row where I was helping Karen at, at sales and conventions and stuff. So I wasn't here to do a Saturday stream. And I th this is definitely like, the, like I said, the first one I've done in almost a month. And I like them because they mean it like allows for people who live in different time zones to just come and hang out when they get a chance. Like heck. There we go, get them buns. Woo, zap them buns. Where are we going? <laughs> I am so sad that Jared got rid of his uh, pro J and decent emote. 
mean, now he's got like Proje Lude, which is fine, but he doesn't have Indecent, and that was. That was like my favorite emote to use. Right? Like, I can't do. It's not there anymore! I'm so sad! It was the best emoji! Woo! Oh, that was a question mark for the, the question mark block! Uh, the question mark box, rather. I know. I know he- I think he's got Pro-J Lude. Yeah, which I mean, it's not quite the same. But, I mean, nothing was really as good. Like, like I know Asagao is like very over at this point, which is fine. It should be. I think the, the game is kind of past its course. Um, but there was something so genuine about that horrified Hana face that was just like so good. All right, I can't match the eggs. Whoa, them's good. It was it was a legendary emoji. Ah, I gotta get in touch with um uh what's what the heck? Um I was talking to Chloe about getting some new emotes too, but I know she's been super freaking busy. Uh and I talked to my sister and she is probably going to be helping me with those custom bit badges. Uh because I forgot that was a thing, and then I went to go check out um my buddy Thrower's stream the other day. And he had custom bit ba bit badges, and I was like, "Whoa, it really is a busy season." Um, so yeah, we can like affiliates can get custom bit emotes or bit badges, which I was not expecting. Um, there we go. Ooh, mystery box. Yeah. Oh, one more to go. Oh, then we gotta get the eggs down. Fudge. Okay. So many eggs. And you can you can get like you can make the custom bit emotes up to like three hundred dollars worth of bits, and I'm like, who is going to donate to me three hundred dollars worth of bits? I mean that would cover my terrifying electric bill this month, but like nobody's going to donate me that many bits. That is silly. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, I guess there are some people that- what is it? A fool and his money is easily parted? Um... Not me. <laughs> Alright, was that- oh, I got one more egg I need to clear down. Okay, I can do that. What was that? That one person? That, that Lil Hog guy used to pop by like Luke's stream and drop like 500 bucks at once and I'm just like How do you have that much money to just like randomly give people? All right, we got level 27 All right, let's go with that. Yeah, he was like a nice guy, but I'm just like how do you have, I guess he was, he said he was like a sugarcane farmer and he had a really good season that one year. So he just had like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you people should come over here and give me your money. I'll take your money. Granted, like, when I first started going to streams, I was- I was quick to donate, but now I know that there's better ways to- Yeah, I remember him saying it once. It was either in one of Jared's streams or in one of Luke's streams. I don't remember exactly, but he said that he was a- like a sugar farmer. And he had, like, a ton of money and he didn't really- like, everything he had was- like, he didn't really have anything to spend it on besides streamers. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. If you want to do that, then, like, cheers, my dude. I ain't gonna stop you. I will, I will question your habits, surely, but I ain't gonna stop you. Okay. 
Okay. Pew! Boon is boosted. Honestly, yeah. Like, I mean, I try- I definitely try to give back where I can, and especially, you know, people whose work I accept, I especially pr appreciate. I try to support them on Patreon and stuff like that, because I know, at least for me, and I was talking about it with Luke the other day, um, Twitch takes away half price for every, um, every email, or every subscription, so, like, if you have a tier one subscription, um, like, the creator only gets 250 for it. Which is ridiculous. I mean, yeah, you get, like, full value for bits and stuff, but even bits cost, like, if you want to buy bits, they cost outright more than, um, the value of the bits. Which I think, like, I would want, like, a one-to-one. -one. Why would you, like, if I wanted to buy 50 bits, it's, like, $60. And that doesn't make sense to me. That is very silly. That seems inefficient. And, like, I know they gotta get their money somewhere, but... That's... I don't feel like that's a reasonable way about going of going about it. I don't know. That's my two cents. Or my two bits, rather. Um... Zap! Oh, I gotta get these guys on the corner... It is. And it's, it's, it's just, it's, and you can only buy them through Amazon, which I mean, okay, Twitch is owned by Amazon. That makes sense, I guess. But if you want to donate and cheer through bits, rather than just doing like a direct donation through Twitch, through Streamlabs, um, it's just, it's really, I don't know. I feel like that's not very nice. I know a lot of people earn bits by watching ads and stuff like that. There's a way to do that. Daz! Hello! Oh, good! You're able to make it! Yay! Oh, what am I still- Oh, I gotta get more eggs! I got to get the eggs! Welcome to our chill and fun Saturday night stream. I hope you're having a great evening. Oh, Chinese food sounds mad good right about now. At some point in time, Michael is going to be making me uh, dinosaur chicken nuggets. And it's, those always remind me of college and I'm very excited. Um, ooh, mystery box. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, okay, we good. Oh, Chinese food. Maybe, no, I can't. Maybe Monday we can do Chinese food. I mean, we've got some HelloFresh. Cheesecake and pizza diff early. Ooh. I will probably talk about me going to brunch for like another 40 times once more people show up. Because it's been like, one person shows up, I talk about the brunch that I'm doing. Oh, what is this going to be? Whoa. That was cool as heck. Oh, uh, no, hey, I, I completely understand that. And I mean, especially because, like, at least for me, I know I have a lot of creators that I love and want to support. But it's not always feasible for me to support all of their Patreons at once. So a lot of times, like, I split it between... Um, um, between, like, Twitch support, um, oh, butts, that's what I wanted, I wanted, there we go, okay, that's good. Um, but at least, at least with Patreon, uh, it's like a one-to-one -one exchange, which I, I, I dig, I appreciate that, it makes me very happy, um, as someone who is supported on Patreon, um, right, okay, Dinosaur, so they're chicken nuggets shaped like dinosaurs. And when I was in college, we had, um, the one dining hall used to make those specifically. 
Uh, and it was cool because they were just unique and fun and I liked it. Um, and there was one night I remember uh, where <laughs> they decided that it was going to be dinosaur chicken nugget night and every dish they made had dinosaur nuggets on there somewhere. So they made like macaroni and cheese, but they put these chicken nuggets on it. And then they made chicken parm, but with the dinosaur chicken nuggets. And obviously they had just like the regular dinosaur nuggets. And it was, it was just so fun. And I remember that very fondly as a fun part of college. We're at level 29. We are blazing through this, guys. We've been at it for like, what, an hour and a half? And I'm, I'm already done with like a third of the game, right? Like, it was just a, a really, it was a fun and nice way that my college, because it was, like, the dining halls were always kind of, like, bad. And from what I've heard, they've gotten better since I graduated, but it's also been, you know, 10 years or so. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah, oh god, over 10 years, because I graduated in 2008. This would have been my first year of grad- 2009 was my first year of grad school. Oh boy. This bitch getting old. Um. Oh. It's just- I just like having- For me, the game is kind of like- Not always the main focus for a Saturday night stream. Because I just want to like hang out and talk with friends. And whomever decides to just swing by and say hello. Because I've, I've noticed that, like, you know, and this isn't me, like... <laughs> I know, I'm old. Boop, bits. Jen! Jen with them 100 bits! Thank you so much! I appreciate it. We're, we're talking about, um... When I was in college, the, uh, the dinosaur chicken nuggets. Oh, what I, what I was gonna say is that I have... Yeah, we talk about how old we are. Um, but I, I'm unrelated to that, I was going to say, because I was talking about it a little bit with Luke this morning on his stream. Um, I've kind of noticed that my stream hasn't really been growing any. And I don't know if that is um, because of what I've been choosing to play or what, you know, or, or what. Um, but that's okay. Um, I just, I just mostly stream to have fun with friends at this point. Um, because I, I don't really know what else I could be doing. Just, just besides having fun and, and that's what I'm here for. I'm here to have fun. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to become a professional streamer. Honestly, if, if I was going to do any, um any new media stuff full time it would want to I would want it to be my YouTube channel because I like that I like the variety I'm able to get with that a lot more but the thing with YouTube is that it is not live so I can't just like hang out with people on YouTube it's more like oh hey did you see the new Brutal Foods video, which, by the way, guys, if you have not seen the new Brutal Foods video, please watch the new Brutal Foods video. It's great. Um, but that's why that's what I like about Twitch. I like I like the one on one. I like being able to, to talk with people and just meeting new people because like. Dudes, like, I mean, heck, I wouldn't have met. OK, I would know Jen. Because I met Jen elsewhere. But I would not have met a sing anybody else here if it weren't for if it weren't for Twitch. Dead journal, dude! That's how long ago it was. <sighs> someday, someday I really, really want to do It was Dead Journal. That's the wildest part. Yeah. Yeah, I was like a freshman in high school. No, maybe sophomore in high school. Freshman or sophomore, something like that. Regardless, someday I want to do a video about um, 
the old internet and stuff like that. Because there's there's one thing that I I know is how different the internet is now. Um Yeah, it is it's like when when I was first starting to use the internet, um like social media didn't exist. Um, I will say Asagao did basically get me into Twitch. That's what kind of bridged the gap there. Um, and, and meeting tons of incredible people through it. Like, genuinely, and he knows it, if it weren't for Luke, I really would not have pursued anything on YouTube or Twitch. It, he kind of gave me the, the nudge that I needed to get me started. But before then, I mean, oh god, like, I mean, I had, I had online journaling on so many different sites like i did i did live journal i did open diary i did the dead journal and it just i met so many people but it was it was different then because okay i would say the first thing the first thing that is like majorly different now um most people did not use their real names um, I mean, I went by an alias for... until I was in college. Um, yeah, like, there was no way you would give out your real name. And you'd, you'd have, like, a, um, like a, a, yeah, like a moniker that you'd just be known by. Um, and a lot of people still do that. Like, there's nothing wrong with that, but it, it's a lot more... Except, oh yeah, no, I, I, that's why I don't give out my last name unless you know me in person, or I don't even use my real last name on Facebook. Um, but, um, like now it's just a lot more understood to be like, oh, hey, I'm Elise, nice to meet you, instead of, oh, hey, I'm, you know, Hallie, pleased to meet you, which was definitely, um, <laughs> That was definitely a name that I went by for a long time. And it wasn't, it wasn't until I was a freshman in college and with the advent of MySpace, really, um, that really kind of pushed it from a very niche thing um, to something that was, yeah, exactly, a lot more... Oh yeah, those the the be careful how to, to interact on the web. Um What listen, I know I can make a move. Chill. Calm your calm your like Easter tits. We're fine. Um But there was a lot like Okay, it became a lot more accepted and normal for people to have uh social media and therefore use their real names as opposed to the early 2000s where it was a lot of oh I'm going to be starting this website and I don't want people to know who I am so I am just going to use a fake name or an alias or a made up name yeah like <laughs> I mean, I will, if it's somebody that I actually know, um, obviously you get, you, I, I am a little bit more open about the fact that, like, the state that I live in, because that is really generic, and even though it's not a big state, it's like, okay, it's New Jersey, it's, I could be anywhere, um, but I won't, like, dox myself. You know, it, it's, that is actually something that I'm looking into for tying back to our earlier conversation, Tika. Um, some of my Patreon rewards require me to mail things to people and I don't have a PO box yet and they won't let me mail anything unless I put a return address on it. So I need to, and there's, there's actually one person yeah, exactly, Jen. Exactly. I need to, I actually need to get a P.O. box because I don't really want to give my personal address out to people that I don't trust. 
I mean, not, not that I don't necessarily trust them, but it's more so people I don't know. Um... And that's the scary part, like... Yeah, if I'm trying to show up in my house. Seriously, um... At least for me, yeah. It's... I, I have... You know, I'm, I'm not the only one who lives here. Um... So I, I, I need to look into that, and I keep meaning to, and I keep forgetting to actually go to the dang post office and, and invest in one. Because I've had, I've had people comment on videos and be like, hey, you know, can I, can I send you this snack to review? And I'd be like, if it's somebody that I knew, like, okay, um, I, Brooke has sent me snacks before. Um, yeah, you have to apply for one. I have the application in, like, the back of my car somewhere kicking around. Like, my, uh, the passport renewal application I've got that's just, like, rotting in my apartment that I haven't sent in yet because I don't have a hundred bucks. Um. Oh, I gotta do pink eggies. Um. Woo! Zap. Yeah, you have to... It's a monthly cost, too, and it depends on the size. Yeah, exactly. So I was just gonna get the small box, and if somebody wanted to send me a larger package, then... They, they hang on to it for you. Um, cause I, I would be glad, like, okay, so Brooke has sent me things, um, Riley sent me things to try a couple times, but it's, these were all people that I knew and was already friends with, or had, had become friends with, so I didn't feel weird giving them my personal address. Whereas if it's just some random person on my YouTube channel, then I'm not necessarily as inclined to give them my personal address. Now, granted, I don't really have a lot of worries about people finding me because the door drash binder driver can't find me three quarters of the time. Um, but the, that, especially for a female presenting person on the internet, it is always a risk to to take. Like, I don't want like, okay, um, not too long ago the old video game store that I used to, to hang around at was swatted. And I, I try really hard to just not give out that level of personal information unless you're a person that I can trust. Um, yeah, it was, this was last year, I think. Um, it was scary because I, I knew that place very well, even if I hadn't been in years. And thankfully, thankfully nobody was hurt or injured, but you know, I, I can't trust gamers. Yeah, exactly. And like, I mean, I, you have... Man, you had my college address. That's how long I've known you. Um, I actually still have... You made me a piece like years and years and years ago. And it was like a, a, like a paisley pattern design with my name that you doodled. You did. I have to, it's, up, it's at my parents' house. I need to dig for it, but I do still have it. It's in, um, it's in, like, a, an accordion folder up at my parents' house, and I was going through it a couple weeks ago, and I was like, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, that's wild. <laughs> the, the best thing about these, like, the chatty streams that I do is that a lot of the time, um, Vintage Gen Art, <laughs> a lot of the time they just turn into, um, uh, the friend with the Etsy shop? Does Gen... Jen, I don't know if you have an Etsy shop, but I don't think it was... Wait, Des, remind me what I was talking- what, what you're, uh... What we're talking about. Because I've- I have- I do have several friends with Etsy shops, but I don't think Jen is one of the one- one of them. Hmm? Select a level. Dude, Etsy is very challenging 
and it's annoying. Uh, it's one of the clothes and the cute. Oh, no, no, no. That's my friend Terry. Uh, I don't think Terry does Twitch. Um, but she's awesome, and I just really, really love her a lot. Um, this is gonna be really annoying. One at a time, baby! Oh! Oh, that's good. She has a ton of cute things. If that's for Comic Sans, I lose it. It's- that's very close to Comic Sans on this. Aha! Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now we're cooking with gas. Because, like, I've been... Karen has actually asked me to help her um, relist a bunch of things on Etsy. Because it is just... Such a pain to put anything up on Etsy. Oh my god. Like, I don't know why it is that... Like, they're that dramatic about everything. No, Jen does cool art and cool art streams, and if you're into just, like, chill art streams, definitely give her a follow. Oh, hooray! The, the shared games are available to play. Yee! No, it's- 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 Yeah, the splatter paint is cool! Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I gotta get more of these down here. Bleh. Okay, that's good that we got- yeah! Alright, good. Starting to chip through slowly. I like watching, like, the- the- the port of- um, okay, so, okay, so what you need to do for Etsy, at least from what I found, is that you basically need to list everything individually, and the, the annoying part is that you need to, like, go through and make a whole bunch of different, like, small selections about categories and stuff that it fits in, and it's just, it's just, it takes a long time, especially if you're trying to list multiple things. Which is just frustrating. Oh, no, 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 no worry. I am always willing to re-explain something. I don't give a toot. I need another... Hmm. need none another thing to give me like a power shot basically oh I'm so stoked it is very tedious like Karen actually when we try to get her stuff relisted it's a lot of me sitting on her bed making sure she stays focused and gets everything uploaded Because it's just otherwise not happening. Okay. Ah, that's a little better. I got some room down here to play. But I also need a hammer. But the live heck yeah. Here, let me um uh yeah, let me do see if that works. Yeah, you you can probably drop a link now. If not, oh ass, why is that not working? Um, I think it's because I have, like, Twitch. Okay, so you know what? Uh, DM it to me on Twitter. 
and then I can share the link for everybody because I don't actually have any mods in my chat right now. Everybody's out, um, which I get, you know, holidays and not being around and such. Um, I wonder where my sister is. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Ah, oh, we're starting to get somewhere. All right, let's see. Okay. No, I want that one to go. Ah. I did not just plug a device into the audio jack. I did that hours ago. Literally hours ago. Ah, there we go. Oh, dude! Do you mind if I, uh, if I tuck that? Yeah, I'm gonna drop that link into the chat here because that is so cool. Ugh, I really... I need to putz around with mine a bit more because I probably should change the color of my, um, like the chat screen in the corner. And I haven't really figured out how to do that yet. Like, I'm sure it's not hard. I'm just being lazy about it. And I've been, I mean, I've been using this background for a long time. So I'm, I would really, I'm attempting to, like mentally, I would like to, I'm trying to do, we're basically, we're waiting for the weather to get a little better so that I can do a new photo shoot for my, uh, um, the, uh, the YouTube headers and stuff like that. And I, I really want to get a new Twitch layout going, but I don't have the capability of making like backgrounds and stuff. And I can't really ask the person that made my original backgrounds to do it for me anymore because she's like super, super busy. And I'm not gonna, I can't rely on, uh, rely is not the word I would use. Um, she's very busy and has her own stuff to worry about. So I don't want to, um, like, ask her something that I know she's probably not going to have the time or availability to do. Yeah, exactly. Like she's, she's got a full-time day job that takes a lot out of her. And I'm like, you know, I, 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 and I try to, I try to rotate around which of my friends I, I get to commission stuff for me. Um, but it's also like, I have to be careful with my money right now because I need to get the brakes on my car fixed. And it's like every, it's like when it rains, it freaking pours. Like, I don't know what it is. Yeah, like I, I got to work on Thursday morning and I was backing into my parking space because we are required at work to it's called first pull to you have to park first pull forward. So in case of an emergency, all you do is pull out of the parking space and you're face forward and you can leave. Thank you. I know that. Um, put the cone. No, we don't have to put the cone out in front, but I do carry cones with me at work. Um, but I was backing into my parking space and I thought I'd hit somebody because it sounded like something was screaming. And I'm like, well, that's not good. But then uh, it, nothing happened for the rest of the day. So I was like, okay, I guess everything's fine. Um, the next day I pull into work and I'm backing into my parking space and my one coworker is out there and he goes, oh, your brakes are screaming, girl. And I'm like, oh, that's what it is. So he and, uh, he and my other coworker took a look at him yesterday and they were like, yeah, you need rear brakes. And I'm like, 
fine. It's gonna be a couple hundred dollars, and I have some money, but not a whole lot right now. So when it rains, it pours, and that's always wonderful. But such is life, you know. That's that's what being an adult is like. Paying money for things that you weren't expecting. But it's okay. I, I mean, I, I have the money for it. It's... It's not like, are they, um, it's, it's squealing and it's only really the one. So they took the, uh, they took a look at it and they spun my tire. Um, and it's apparently the rotors on my passenger side rear tire are going. And I'm like, are you for real? Like, why? Why that one of all of them? So I'm like, I, I know I can't really drive around too much with them like that. So I'm like, all right, I will, I will just do what I can and take them home. Because this almost gets down to the car. Yeah, that's, I don't want to push it any further than it already is. Because I know it's not great already. Um, so that's, that's the goal. So I have to, uh. As much as I want to, like, commission every friend in the world to do stuff for me right now, I really can't afford it, and that bites. But I'm also not going to ask people to do stuff without compensation, because pay your freaking artists. Um, uh, like, I ain't gonna do that to my pals. That's shenanigans. <laughs> Cheesy! Isn't exposure what gets you killed in the uh, Oregon Trail? Cheesy friend, how you doing? You have died of exposure. I hope you are having a wonderful evening. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't do that to people because I know, I know what it's like to get screwed. And I would say probably a good three, I would say at least half of my friends are artists. And, you know, I see, oh, hey, no worries, no worries. Did I get to tell you that I eventually, I did go to that Afghan restaurant that you recommended to me? And it was freaking delicious, so thank you for that recommendation that you gave me, like, two years ago that I never actually got a chance to do until, like, last month. Freaking delicious. Totally worth it. Okay, good. My short-term memory is garbage. Uh. Karen says it's stress. But such is life. <laughs> we just old. Oh, I need to get one more gold egg. If it weren't for these stupid gold egg love, ooh, I wonder if we done. I want to go back when I went for the first time with my big dice. Only the meat. Oh yeah, no, I will say their um, their pitas are delicious, and they do they do a homemade hummus. Or like own make hummus that I was just like dying over. It's so good. Oh jeez. So I guess it's not really plausible that I get through this entire game tonight because I do need to eat at some point. That's awesome. I'm I am glad. Like I I know Karen and I have a system worked out sometimes because um, she does a lot of work for me um, and I pay her a lot of times and like cheeseburgers but it's like an accepted system that we've come to the conclusion is like acceptable and okay um rather than other stuff because I help her out at the um at the office I help her out with, with sales and stuff like that Doo -doo -doo. This is gonna be a weird one. Ooh, okay. Ooh! Hey, MK! Um, yeah, we've been live for about two hours, but you haven't really missed too terribly much. I mean, I'm just kinda playing a matchy game. New 
closet. Yeah, I know they, they did move to a new location, so that's pretty cool. Um. How's that? Boom! Yay! I always forget that I do have that uptime command. That <laughs> makes me happy now. Ah, it's good to see you, my dudes. I hope you guys are having a great, great evening. Um, move, move, please move. There we go. There's one. <laughs> More than one. You are multiple dudes. You are a a. Shoot, I had words and then I forgot them. So, I'm not thinking that. Ah, Everybody's manly if they put their mind to it. I guess. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All right, we going places. We matching. We matching threes. Ooh, the bonuses are boosted. Or as I was saying in the beginning of the stream, the bonuses are boosted. I have played Zuma, yes. Zuma is fun. I actually, that's one that I need to get for like Saturday night chill stream rotation. Um, cause that is a really, really good game for that. Fuck, hey, that's, that's cheaper than this was. This was $6. Which I think it's been, I've gotten $6 worth of fun out of this. Oh, that's what it did? Boo. Okay, fine. Hmm. We have seven left? But I only see one, two, three, four, five. Oh, six, seven. Oh. Two before seven. Oh, 640 by 480 resolution. Oof. That's like extreme oof. What? Oh, they want me to do that. Okay. There we go, okay. Oh, God. That's the one nice thing about most Steam games. Oh, no worries, Cheesy. Thank you so much for hanging out. It's so good to see you. Have a wonderful rest of your night. Be safe tonight. Boop. Oh, yeah, okay. Hmm. Getting places. Only two left, right? All right, cool. One left. Zero left! Let's go! But the one nice thing about being able to get games on Steam in windowed mode is that I can kind of, like, stretch the resolution if need be. Level 34. Okay, I need 10 golden eggs. Woof. All right, I can do that. Hmm. Okay, good, 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 good. It's full screen if I'm not mistaken. Ah, that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's good. Drop those down. Hmm. Oh, that was, I guess I had the bonuses up of the way. That, I think, is a nice little touch to this particular match three. Like, like I was saying before, like, match threes can be just really, really boring. <laughs> Puyo Tetris, yeah. Puyo Tetris, so far the only Switch game that I have beaten my fiancé at. Um, and I think that's very funny. But Puyo Tetris is a fun one, too. I need to, ugh, I keep saying that I need to, like, mess around with my capture card and get that going properly again, and I need to get my one friend... Oh, that's the one with like all the dang scepters. That was a lot. Ooh, I didn't know it was available for PC. That is cool. Scepter bitch. 
Scepter bitch is in the house. Is that still my Discord name or did I change it? I forget. Ooh, okay. We need seven more eggs. And I only see one. Hmm. Oh, right! Number one Percy fangirl. That's it. Yoshi's Crafted World. I've been watching Jared play that, and it is adorable. Oh my goodness. Like, I am so on board for that, but I can tell that it's definitely the kind of game that gets too hard and I'm going to get mad at. Uh, hence why I did not beat Kirby on stream. Uh, I will eventually, I promise. I just need to get there. Okay, I found that the, like my problem with games like that, and it's not necessarily a problem, um, but I just end up with way too much of a, uh, a completionist streak, and I need to I need to get all of the things, and it's really like taxing for me. Yes, okay, the art direction in, Cur in Yoshi Crafted World is unbelievably good. Yay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Uh, but like, it's, it's like, okay, must be completionist now. And I'm like, no, I'm not Gerard. I can just play a game to have fun with it, dang it. But like, okay, I don't know if any of you guys were around for the last couple Kirby streams. Those were really um, anxiety, the video game for me. And it's so funny because like, oh, it's Kirby. Kirby's just like the easiest game in the world. It's for children. And then there's me that's like, Wah! can't beat final boss. And like pitching a hissy fit on stream because I can't do it right. And that's stupid. I can't do that. I don't need to be doing that. I'm too old to be a baby about video games. Oh, I definitely had rage moments. <laughs> it was regrettable. <laughs> oh, the game control. And then Shannon was like, Elise, how did you not know that you had a uh, double jump this whole time? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm bad at video games. We did it. Kirby, Kirby is deceptive. And that stinks because like, I love it. And Kirby is like, he's, he's my little Puyo boy. Like, look at my little boy. He's my little son. Oh, look at my little son. He smells like strawberries. Or at least he does when I don't have a cold. Puyo! I want the. That's actually one thing I want to do. I do want to get. I want to get one of the Kirby Nendoroids because they're just so cute. Oh, Tika, I feel that. We, um, my sister, or my fiance and I gave my sister a, uh, a PS4 for Christmas. And I bought her Kingdom Hearts. And she hasn't even plugged it in yet because she's like, I am going to lose hours to this game. I know it. Ooh, that was cool. I kind of like these mystery box levels. Like, that's fun. I also appreciate that it's, though the music repeats, it's not the same music track every level. I was, okay, so I was watching Jeff, um, Space Hamster, play a little bit of Kingdom Hearts on stream for a bit. Um... But I never actually got to, um, he didn't really do any more of it. Oh god, there's hidden Mickeys in it? Oh, that's rough. Oh, I need to bust through that guy. I need hammers. Give me hammers. Or explosions. Explosions are also good. 
Hmm. Butts. Okay. I, the one thing I did, I do know about Kingdom Hearts that I was, I appreciated, um, is that there's a lot of inspiration from the parks, and I love me some Disney parks, so that's always good. Hmm. Like, I know a lot of there's, like, commands that allow you to just use some of the rides to just mess around. I'm like, that's pretty neat. Oh, that's so cool. I was like, ooh, what's this give you? Right? Like, the one time you weren't there, I was. And I haven't been back since. There we go. That's a little better. It was like two years ago. Hey, Jesse, What's up, my dude? Pop. Bonus is boasted. It just, it looks like a, a well-crafted game. And it's funny because, like, some of the people I talk to... Oh, word. Yeah, it's gonna be an early day tomorrow for a lot of people. But, like, yeah, a lot- so a lot of the people that I talked to about the game either super loved Kingdom Hearts or were incredibly disappointed by it. And I'm like, well, that's kind of a bummer, but... And then my one friend really liked it, but she said that the Frozen world felt phoned in. And she, like, she really likes Frozen, so... She felt a little disappointed by that. And I get it. I, I get it. Especially, you know, because that's kind of like the Disney cash cow right now. Yeah, she was like, it just, it, it just didn't feel like a good level. And then everybody else said that the Pirate's World was the best this game. So I guess that's, that is one that, that can be agreed upon. Okay, that's that's good to know too because I remember the first Pirates roll was a little weird. Eh. That part isn't great. Obviously. Um Oh, oh, the bonus they're boasted. The boasted, the bonus is a boasted. Woo! Spicy. Spicy and icy. That, that I appreciate it. It definitely, the few worlds, so, okay, I've seen the Toy Story world, and I saw, what was the, uh, like, the very first one that most people, uh, Aladdin, it was, or no, it wasn't Aladdin, it was, um, um, fuck. Listen, I know there's a move that be can be made there, mister. I'm just not worried about that one right now. Oh, the Monsters, Inc. world. Is that the one? No, I'm trying to... Th yeah, I liked the designs, the character designs for the Monsters, Inc. ones. Hercules! The new Hercules world. I, I, uh, I heard it looked really good. And it looked like there was a lot of, um... The uh, ability to, like, the tutorials didn't really seem forced. Yeah. Yeah, it, it felt like it was a good, ah, are we good now? We're good. We can move on to the next lamp. Good. Let's go. Well done. Sorry, I've got, like... I never saw Monsters University. I, I saw, I've seen Monsters, Monsters Inc, obviously. Oh, level 36. Oh boy. Okay, so let's get my bonuses boasted up so I can use that guy and go boom. Yeah, I was, I was really hoping that they would do like an expansion on, um, 
any of the Tron worlds because I love Tron. Um, but that's, I, that was asking a little too much. Oh, oh, it was, it was more like 13 MK. Uh, it was, there was a long time between Kingdom Hearts 2 and Kingdom Hearts 3. Though, I guess to be fair, um, yeah. Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Fudge, I want to use that guy, but, oh, I goofed, I done goofed. Butts. That's true, yes. Okay, I, I definitely agree with that assessment. Uh, and there, there were other games in between um, that were... Oh, that's what I need to do. Oh, beans. I gotta get these guys with, like, the lights. Oh, no. That's the first time I made a bubble in a while. That's bizarre. I done goofed! That's an old meme. Aha, got one. There we go. Oh, let's see. Let's see if I can get another one. Oh, Goofy. I feel like Goofy is like a definitely underappreciated Disney character. I was okay, I did watch um there was that um uh Yes, there we go. Okay, that's those guys done. Um there was a um what's his name? Barry Barry uh Residue Barry did a uh uh a version of his uh, game for his animation for Kingdom Hearts 3 so I feel caught up now um, and I was very excited because his first one for Kingdom Hearts 1 through whatever was very very informative and educational for me it's Des it's good it's real good and it's worth the time it's worth the time to watch because you can see you can tell he put like a lot of effort into it too Oh god, what are these memes doing? Space hamster just went live. YouTuber drug colony 420 weed god. What is wrong with you people? Yefri. <laughs> I mean, it's like a little delayed of a blaze, too. So if I, okay, I think Jared went live at 420 Eastern, which is very funny to me. Um. Boyo. Woo! That was intense. Those always startle me. <laughs> I just got the notification too, yeah. It's funny because like everybody that I follow on Twitch if I am live on Twitch and I have my chat program open, because, okay, I use something called Chatty, um, which allows me to not have my, and this is, this is like the most helpful thing that I have ever had because the number one most annoying thing to me is having my like Twitch dashboard up in the background to read the chat. And I don't want to see that. Um, yes, hello, thank you, I know. So I use something called Chatty, which is a JavaScript program that I can just run, and all it does is pull the chat in, like, a little applet window. It's so easy. And it makes, like, I actually have to thank Mel for that, because she was the first one who told me about it. Um, years and years ago. But it has just become the easiest thing in the world for me to stream. Like, I don't think I've ever shown you guys what my desktop looks like uh, while I stream. Because I only have one monitor. Um, 
And let me... Let me see if I can, like, upload it somewhere. <laughs> um, hmm... Hmm, where can I put the thing? Ah, here you go. I will. No, not there. Oh, well. Oh, I can probably. Where can I? Where can I even upload pictures anymore? Image Shack don't exist, right? Imager? I've never used that before. Is that like something that people use? Imager, Giazzo, Giazzo? What's Giazzo? Hmm. Oh, here, I can, I can just do a save thingy. It can't save to PC. Eat my entire pants. I can do this. I am smart at stuff. Um, how do I share post? Upload complete. I think this works. Imager was made for Reddit. Oh, uh, okay. I don't use Reddit, so see if that works. Because <laughs> that'll basically show you what my layout looks like. Oh, gyoza sounds good, too. I think I was using Pastebin for a bit. Oh, this is cute with the cherry blossoms. Yeah, it's not terrible. I do wish I had a uh, a second uh, monitor, but I just don't have the desktop room for one right now. And it's a bummer. The thing is, I actually... I. I would love one, but I don't have the space for one on my desk at the moment. I need to get a, a different desk. So, because like the, my, the way my desk is set up, I actually have a hutch, which I like because it allows me to have like all of my, like I've got stuff on it and that's where I keep like, like toys and things like that. Um, but I can't actually like use it for having a second monitor and that just cheese because I actually I have a second monitor but I can't and I can sometimes use my television but that's really annoying and super obnoxious um so I'm I'm working towards that um because I really the problem is I love my desk because it's an Ikea desk um so I can probably like undo parts and stuff like that to get like a, get it in different working order or clean something off to get that working better. Um, but for now, I got me that, that sweet, sweet single monitor set up. Uh, and I just kind of make do. Could be, it could be a lot worse. Like I said, it's a lar- I have a large monitor, so it's not, um... It's not like I need to, it's it's oppressive or anything to keep things windowed. It's just a little annoying because there are some games that I can't stream because they are full screen only. Like I can't put them into a uh, windowed mode. And if I can't put a game into windowed mode, I can't play it on stream. That is unfortunate. the unfortunate reality of it, which is a major bummer. Um... Pop, pop, pop. I think this is my favorite of the songs. It's just so fun. 
Oh, boost is posted! It seems like the only one I'm getting is bubble right now, but I don't want bubble. Hmm. Oh, okay, I got all the eggs. I just gotta take care of these guys. Can I still do my stuff and things if this cat's size? Ah, yeah, okay. I can understand that. Thankfully, Rufus does not really give two hoots about that. Dem big boy. Oh lord, he's a coming. Alright, that's taken care of. Now I just gotta get this section. Which should not be too much longer, I hope. That meme is just too good. It's just so funny. Aha! There we go! Bam! Absolute unit! Yes, that's the word I was thinking of. I, man, I don't know why it's currently set up like that. I I haven't had the time to mess around. Because um, I know that, um, at least for me, I know that I have it so that, um, yeah, I think the, pr the problem I've got is not all- Okay, Tika, thank you so much for hanging out. It was so good to see you, friend. Um... What was I going to say? Okay, so I know that the way my Moobot is set up, Moobot usually blocks links. But there's also one on, like, Twitch Admin that I need to remove so that I can grant permissions to post links. Which is the annoying part. <laughs> Oomst. Oh. Bloop, sorry. I hope so too, Tika. It was so good to see you. Have a good rest of your day. Enjoy your Sunday off. Ooh. Yeah, sizzle. You take you to the sizzler. Please tell me somebody else remembers what sizzler is. I might be too old. That's gonna be the problem. Oh my god, really? That's awesome! Well, unless it's like disgusting, in which case that's not awesome. But I am glad that- I think my um... The last time I saw a Sizzler, I was in freaking Australia. Like I barely see them in the US anymore. I know they have to exist, like clearly they must, right? I fucking miss Ponderosa! Oh my god, Ponderosa was so good! We had a pon- Okay, so if you don't know what we're talking about, um, these are like buffets. Freaking Ponderosa was my shit as a kid. I fucking loved it. Um, and they had the best, like, it's funny because I, the, I think about it now, and I thought it was a buffet, but I think it might have just been a salad bar with a bunch of shit in it. Exactly! When you went to Ponderosa, it was fancy freaking dinner night. Oh, the, like, it sucks because like the only buffets I really have around here anymore are Chinese buffets, which are not bad inherently. Um, woo! Zappy boys! Like, I like, I like Sizzler. I mean, I, I like American style buffets. I like Chinese buffets. Um, but sometimes I just want a good old fashioned, like, you know what I really secretly wish we had around here? I wish we had, um, Golden Corral. Because we do not have Golden Corral in this part of the country. And sometimes I just want copious amounts of trash comfort food. And where better- Oh, dang! Like, sometimes you just want that amount of trash comfort food. And where better to go than Old Country Buffet or Golden Corral or something like that. Woo! 
Although, I did notice that, um... That's true, we do not have Publix. But, we have Wegmans. Which is awesome. And I freaking love Wegmans because Wegmans has a salad bar that is also like a hot food bar. Um, which rules. It is an absolute rock star of a supermarket and it makes me very happy that it exists in my area. Ooh, bonus is boosted. Nice! That was good. Let's see, what else can I probably not get easily? Butts! You know what? I dig me some Costco too. Costco's um, food court is supreme. I just haven't really had the, um, the need to get anything at Costco lately and it's like, oh. It is cheap! Oh my god, you can get a hot dog and a soda for a buck fifty. That is ridiculous. How does that exist? Ugh. And their their pizza? Okay, so their pizza, coming from me, an absolute pizza snob from New Jersey. Um, oh, chicken bakes are my life. But their pizza is surprisingly good for, like, not real pizza, as I refer to it. I need one more. Oh, but I gotta get 78 chickens! Chicken bakes are so oh fuck. I don't want chicken bake. The pizza's the pizza is acceptable. It is like a, an absolute tall Okay. So here's here's a weird story. When I was in Australia, um, I went to visit a friend who after the 9-11 attacks, his parents moved him to Australia because his mom was a dual citizen. Uh, which is an interesting choice to make, but it happened and he was a, you know, extremely good friend of mine in high school and I hadn't seen him in like years, literal years. It had been 12 years since he'd moved to away from the United States and I just hadn't seen him. But he was, he was somebody who embraced, um, like the internet journaling internet. So I was able to keep in touch with him, which was like really something special. But so when we went there or when I went out there, uh, his parents were like, hey, um, something new just moved into town. We want to take you guys. And I'm just like, OK. And we get there because he, he doesn't drive. He lives in the city um, and legitimately it was a Costco. And it was so trippy to me because he's like, I haven't seen some of these things since I moved away. Like, he could get um, Cheez-Its, which were something that he, was, he hadn't had in 12 years. Like, I had brought a giant box of them with me. And he just, like, got so emotional because it was, it was a lot of, like, American snacks. That was really cool. And I remember we, um, we brought, uh, like his parents drove us back and we carried like everything in the house. And I remember it was just like that, you know, the giant thing of ketchup you can get because, you know, it's ketchup. Like you want that much ketchup sometimes. It was just, it was a really cool and unique and interesting thing. And the point of this story was we ate at the food court. And the food court had basically the same thing. So I'm like, I am sitting at, although I will say the interesting thing, they had a lot more halal options, which I did not expect to see. Um, but it was cool because here I am in literally halfway across the world and I am enjoying a meal that I would eat back home like it literally felt like I was back home sharing this like Costco meal with my buddy um and it was just it was just really cool yeah big chunker ketchup exactly um and I, I appreciated that little memory like it's just it's one that is it's very wholesome very wholesome um I, going? I think this might end up being the last level I play for today. 
because I am starting to get very hungry and I want my nuggies. And I want to eat something before I go to bed because even though we're going to be like having big meal tomorrow, I want like a meal now would be very helpful. But yeah, so that's my, my international Costco story. <laughs> oh, how about you? Go bye-bye. Oh, I could have done that one. Why did I waste that power up? Ah, oh, butts. Okay. There we go. That's one. <laughs> my tears are blocking the Zuma. <laughs> it's it's funny because like I've been to I've been to Canada. I've been to, um, I've been to the UK, I've been to Australia, I've been to South America, and then I haven't been further west in the United States than, like, okay, I've been to, like, driving, the furthest west I've been is Pennsylvania, um, but then I've also, I've flown to Missouri, and I've flown to Nevada, but that's it. There's so much more in the United States that I need to and want to see. Oof. But hey, new car at least. I've I've never been to Tennessee. Uh yeah, I think they they only recently started to allow that in in Jersey. I've never been to the Bahamas. The Bahamas would be a cool place to see too, I think. Sizzle. Aw, Sizzler again. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, right? Ooh. I mean, I am always a fan of going to Disney. I kind of want to go to, like, Tokyo Disney. Oh. I've... Okay, so I've technically been to California, but it was the airport, which I don't think counts. Tokyo Disney would be awesome. I would love to see Tokyo Disney. Like either either Tokyo Disneyland or Tokyo Disney Sea. Well, okay, I didn't really leave the airport, so I didn't really see too much of, uh, uh, of, uh, LA. It was LA, yeah, because I went to the airport. Alright, okay, we're getting somewhere. Good. I would like to do that one. I think that would be a fun convention to see. Portland Retro Gaming. Cause I have a lot of friends in that vicinity too. Like I don't think I'm doing too many games this year. Um, just cause I need to save up the funds and can't really afford it at this point. But. But Portland Retro Gaming is one that I have heard is like just a, a really, really good one. But. Uh, all right, guys. It's like 11.30. I think I'm going to call it a night for here because I am getting to be a hungry, hungry person. Um, Thanks for hanging out, guys. I really enjoyed this this lovely little, um, little nighttime party stream. Uh, let me see if anybody else cool is streaming. Oh, jeez. Um, there's a lot of, like, fucking, uh... <laughs> there's a lot of weird streams right now, and I'm not gonna send you over, but if you guys are interested in, like, weird, like, meme drug streams, then go check out PBGs or, uh, Space Hamsters. But, yes, thanks guys so much. I will be back on Tuesday, I hope, I hope with more of um heaven's vault because i was really digging that um get it digging but 
Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Have a wonderful holiday tomorrow if you celebrate it. Take care. Sleep good. I'll see you guys later.